Hello, in this video, we're going to think about the macro paper that you're going to write for this course. So, uh, it's my philosophy that you're here at Pima because you are either love learning and you want to think about how you fit in the macro economy or what's going on there, or more likely, you're here because you have some kind of career goal in mind, whether it's a healthcare career, or a career in law enforcement, or uh, construction management, or whatever, uh, real estate, something like that. So we're applying we're, what we're doing with the paper is we're going to apply uh, what you're learning to um, your future career goal. So it actually means something, right? So uh, one thing to think about here is the rubric. So here's the rubric, and you can click on it and hit preview. Bigger. All right. So here's the rubric. I'd read carefully. This is how I'm gonna um, how I'm gonna grade it. And uh, so what you're gonna do is first your intro paragraph is gonna be um, you talking about your career goal. Um, you know why why are you doing it? What do you want to do? All of that. I'm trying to get back to here. Then the second the second third and fourth paragraphs are all about your um, uh, some data that you find from the St. Louis Fed. So let's go into course grade information here. It should be essay here. I guess we can click there. Ah, so here it is. Consider your future career. And uh, there is a FRED app. But FRED, FRED stands for Federal Reserve Economic Data. Okay, so it's sponsored by St. Louis Fed. Put in St. Louis Fred, and it's the first thing that we find. That link that I just showed you, that'll work too. So here we are here. Uh, you can use more general things like unemployment, inflation, things like that, but those are not always uh, super specific. So let's say you wanted a career in uh, real estate, right? You wanted to uh, buy low and sell high in the real estate market. So let's just put in real estate. So I'm searching here. All right, commercial real estate prices for the entire United States. Okay, well, is this pertinent? Probably. Okay, and so we want to look at the last 10 years. So we got it here. Now this is a different kind of graph. So make sure you read the axes. I've had students not read these and lose points that way. So this one says percent change from a year ago. Okay, so if it doesn't change, then it's zero. So back here in 2007, uh, the commercial real estate prices went up 14% uh, in 2007 quarter three. Okay, they went up 15%. And then as we got into the recession, they, they declined, okay? And then since then, they've, they've gone up every quarter, every single quarter, okay? So if I was writing this paper, I would talk about why do I, why did I choose this? Um, and what's been going on in the graph, right? So you talk about the recession, talk about post-recession, it's been going up, and that's good news. Now it's not going up as fast as it was before, so that's not as good news. Okay, now if you want to download this and put it in your paper, you can do a couple things. You could uh, do like a screenshot and then just open up Word, put it in there. You can also hit download and then I'll download as an image. And here it comes. Here we go. And then you got it on your computer. And I got Fred Graph. And I got this. And we're going to go. Red graph, you just dump it in there, and there it is. Okay, and here you can move it around, you make it bigger, smaller, whatever you got to do. You can change it. So if you didn't want quarterly, if you wanted, you know, annually, I don't think you'd really want annually. It's a little too general, but but you can change things and change it all around however you want it to be. Okay. Now back to this real estate example, I might do the same thing in the next paragraph with. Uh, real estate loans, okay, that's important. Uh, owner's equity, okay, so like how much are people uh, owning in their house? That might be an interesting one. Uh, this person might also care about interest rates, okay, because um, actually let's, just, let's do the mortgage rate. Yeah, spell mortgage rate, but Fred's smarter than I am, so here you go 30 year mortgage rate. And let's look at the last 10 years. Okay, so back uh, 2008 was six and a half percent. Nowadays, 4.6 percent on average. Okay, so uh, you could talk about this. How is generally good news if you're selling real estate uh, or really buying? And then as it's we look into the future, we're seeing a, an upward trend there. Let's say you didn't want to do that. That wasn't your career goal. It was healthcare. 
Here's one, healthcare expenditures per capita. So this is the uh, amount of money per person that people spent on healthcare. So uh, back in 2000, this data only goes to 2014, uh, back in 2004, it was $5,000 per person. And then now, $7,600 per person, which if I'm, if I'm one to be uh, selling healthcare services, this is great news. If I'm a buyer, which I am, this is not good news. It means people are spending more. Doesn't necessarily mean the prices are going up. It could mean that we're going to doctor more or something like that. Um, but clearly, there's more spending there. So the way I would look at this, I'd look up uh, spending. I'd look up uh, employment. So like, if you wanted to be in the police, I'm look up police employment. Should come up with something. This is. Uh, employed full time, so this is the number of workers. Okay, um, last 10 years. So workers were uh, increasing. This is employed full time, thousands. Wow, this is interesting that there's not quite a million police officers in, in the country. Uh, 688,000, right? So, oh, no, 600, yeah, 688,000. Got it. Um, so, there you go. So you can talk about uh, any of that. So that's the paper. Um, and then to conclude it, just uh, talk about your three paragraphs. What did you learn? So you could have learned that, uh, well, maybe I don't want to do this career as much, or maybe I'm going to have to work a little harder to, to do it. Um, every once in a while, a student says, I don't know what my career is going to be. So my advice to you, pick something that you think would be fun if you were doing when you're 40. Right? I know sometimes we're in college just to figure anything out. Um, so think, think about something that you wouldn't hate to go to work uh, on a Monday morning. So consider that and, uh, and pretend like that's your career. Okay, thank you.